The name Weems finds its roots in the Gaelic word uave, which translates to cave. This etymology is believed to be derived from the caves and cliffs that characterize the Firth of Forth in Fife, where the Weems family made their home. Weems Castle in Fife has been the ancestral seat of the chiefs since the 12th century. One notable aspect of Clan Weems's history is their direct descent from the Celtic nobility through the Macduff Earls of Fife. In 1290, Sir Michael Weems and his brother, Sir David, played a crucial role in bringing back the infant Queen Margaret, often referred to as the Maid of Norway, from Norway to Scotland. However, their allegiances would shift over the years. In 1296, Sir Michael swore fealty to Edward I of England, only to later change his allegiance to Robert the Bruce. This shift in loyalty led to the sack of Weems Castle by the English. Clan Weems's enduring loyalty to Scotland is further exemplified by Sir David de Weems, who appended his seal to the famous Declaration of Arbroath in 1320. During the turbulent times of the 16th century, Clan Weems played a significant role in the political landscape. Sir John Weems, a staunch supporter of Mary, Queen of Scots, hosted her at the newly enlarged Weems Castle, where she would first meet her future husband, Henry, Lord Darnley. Sir John also served as the Lieutenant of Fife, Kinross, and Clackmannan and led his men in the Queen's army at the Battle of Langside in 1568. The Weems family's influence continued to grow over the centuries. John Weems, born in 1586, was knighted in 1618 and later created a baronet of Nova Scotia in 1625, with a charter to the barony of New Weems in Canada. He was eventually granted the title of Earl of Weems by Charles I. His legacy included substantial improvements to Weems Castle and significant contributions to the Church of Scotland. As the generations passed, Clan Weems faced both triumphs and trials. The fourth Earl of Weems, born in 1699, was renowned for his benevolence and hospitality. However, his son, David, Lord Elko, faced tumultuous times during the Jacobite Rising of 1745, joining Prince Charles in Edinburgh. After the defeat at the Battle of Culloden, Lord Elko escaped to France, where he continued to support the Jacobite cause. Due to Lord Elko's involvement, his estates were forfeited to the Crown, leading to a change in the family's name to Charteris. This change ultimately resulted in the current Earl of Weems and March, who resides in the magnificent Adam Mansion of Gosford.